Adrian, many congratulations. Yeah. What a victory in the context of your <laughs> year. Yeah. That was today, and we could see how much it meant to you. Just sum up how you're feeling for us. Brilliant. Um, honestly, it's, it's, it was one of them, like I said, uh, it's one of them feelings where I was thinking to myself before I come into the tournament, after the summer series, I thought this might be my last match play, you know what I mean? Even though I put that much work into losing weight and, and doing everything, well, trying to do everything right, just things weren't just happening, you know? And I was thinking, well, where do we go from here? So you're trying to get an advantage over your opponents all the time. Um, and it was getting to the stage where I was running out of options. Really, that's quite a statement, isn't it? Considering two times. It was, champion. yeah, of course it was, yeah. But the, 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 you've got to realise I've, I've been in this a long time now, um, and, and, and the order I'm trying to different things. Like I said, I've lost the weight. Yeah, I feel a lot fitter. Yes, but I'm thinking I'm just not playing well enough to compete, and that's how I felt. Do you still thought the game was there to compete with all these youngsters coming through? Yeah, definitely. Listen, I, I know myself. If, if I turn up there, nobody in there will beat me. I, I know that. I know that myself. Is that fire, that glam still there for Adrian? Of course it is, yeah. And this is why, like I said, this is why, obviously, I'm not just doing it for the doors, I'm doing it for my family and everything else. This is why I've took this regime where I'm going, you know, I'm working really hard at my game uh, and training and everything else. And. And like you say, when, when you aren't getting the results straight away, I think you try, you try and run before you can walk kind of thing. But it will come, you know, it, it's just time. I think it's just time. James Wade said recently to us that he was fed up of seeing other people win titles. Is that mm. your similar mentality as Definitely, well? Definitely, yeah. When, when, I'm, when I'm looking around the room and I'm thinking, you know, I, I should be doing a lot better than what I'm doing. And, and I, I know that myself, you know what I mean? I, I think sometimes it's just probably... Uh, I think somebody just sometimes needs to give, give me a little kick up the arse, really. I think that, that's what it comes down to. And uh, Gary Plummer from Torg has been fantastic with me. You don't realise what he's done for me during this. Honestly, I've had a year and a half of help. Uh, obviously, can't mention really much about everything else. But uh, I was just ready to just, just quit the game, just just through one pace. And so, looking ahead, this one result could catapult you, especially with the way results have gone tonight. The mm. third favourite and one of the favourites of just in every time he plays and going price. Yeah, is, yeah, he's, he's been brilliant. He, he's, he's gone. So this is a real opportunity now for you to yeah. go through this little mini section of the draw. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, I mean look, whether giving me prizes in it or not, I mean, obviously for somebody to be giving prize, this last 18 months, and he's deserved in the top three, he has been phenomenal. Um, you know, and for Danny Knopp at beat him in the way he has done, I've got to play really well now for beat him. Looking ahead, your recovery time. Yes. What are you going to do between now and that is it just a case of relax, like the adrenaline come down, and will you look at your performance and assess it, or will you just play off instinct? Like I think I just need to? a bit, a bit more bottle. To be honest, I think that, that's what let me down a few times. Yeah, every time I've done the hard work, like at eight, eleven darts, for instance, for break the throw, and then kicked him like a forty-five or a twenty-six, and this is where, you know, I've got to, like analyse my game a little bit. Adrian, it's a pleasure talking to you as always, mate. Thank you, very thank much. you, Don't mind. Just a couple from me, if that's right, Eddie. Um, just on your, your fitness and how well you're looking after lockdown. Thank you. Um, was that something you that lockdown spurred on or was you looking to do that before? I'll, before I'll tell you what it was, it was probably about a month in. Um, I was watching a, a programme called Escape to the Chateau. I don't know if you've ever seen it, um, with Dick and Angel. Um, and he brought a chateau in France. And uh, I mean, this bloke's bearing in mind probably 60, 65. And he, he did all the work on it. So I'm thinking, this bloke is fitter than me. As I'm sitting there eating my cheese and crackers, you know what I mean? I'm thinking, <laughs> something's got to change here. So, and then uh, following Monday, I think that was on the Friday, I was watching that. And then on the following Monday, um, I started doing the Tyson Fury workout. And then I was working out six days a week and then doing like a, a five mile bike ride every Sunday as well in between. And that happened for 14 weeks, sorry. Every day. I was eating healthy and I was doing that, and that's probably why I've, I've lost so much weight. Maybe too quick, something, you know. But I feel a lot fitter. But let me know, I was knackered. <laughs> Honestly, it felt like I'd been hit by a baseball bat, to be fair. <laughs> Do you think that's something that, in a long format game, we know obviously it gets to best? Yeah, uh, like, yeah I wasn't looking at it as if you're getting straight away in short term. I wasn't. So I'm always thinking, uh, you know, prolonging my career. And, and, and I think that's, that, that, you know, that's vital, really. Um, that, you know, everybody wants to last forever, but. This game is now a young man's game, in my opinion. I think um, you know you, you probably got to be single half the time because you live half, well, most of your life on the road. Yeah. Um, but on, you know, I'm still there and I'm still fighting. And I'm still doing so. Right. Cheers, Eddie. Cheers, mate. Thank you.
Thanks, Eddie.